In this episode, I will discuss the TV series Then Came Bronson. And as I mentioned before, NBC picked up the TV series before the pilot movie aired as a Wednesday night movie of the week. Unlike the pilot movie, the TV series was not based on a real person, Bernie Jarvis. The TV series consisted of 26 episodes that aired from September 17, 1969 through April 1, 1970. Unfortunately, Then Came Bronson did not have a dedicated director or writers for the TV show. NBC had a pool of directors and writers that worked on any number of TV shows at the time. It was not uncommon for a director and writers to be working on an episode of Bonanza or I Dream of Jeannie one week and then an episode of Then Came Bronson the next. In total, there were 15 directors that worked on Then Came Bronson and 34 writers. Some episodes had up to three writers. To minimize expenses, they filmed anywhere from four to seven episodes per location. The filming crew started in Jackson, Wyoming and the area around Jackson known as Jackson Hole with four episodes. They moved from there to Colorado for seven episodes. From there, the filming crew went to Arizona for another seven, then on to Nevada for four more episodes, and then back home to California for the last four episodes. The series ended without a finale, indicating that the series was canceled before they could plan an ending to the show. The series was written in a way that there were no continuing storylines from one episode to another. Each episode had a beginning and an ending, in that way, locations didn't really matter for continuity issues. However, there were at least three episodes that aired on TV that were out of sequence from when they were filmed. About the music associated with Then Came Bronson, the background music for the pilot movie and the TV series was performed by George Dunning. Michael Parks and Bonnie Bedelia sing Wayfair and Stranger together in the pilot movie. In the TV series, Michael Parks sings 15 songs, including the TV theme song, Long Lonesome Highway, at the end of each episode. That song made the Billboard Top 100 at 20. Other artists who sang in an episode include Buffy St. Marie and Gary Jason. The TV series for Then Came Bronson was unique in several ways. It was all filmed on location, which was very unusual and expensive. As far as I know, it is the only TV show that had one recurring character. There were no sidekicks or supporting roles. It was Michael Parks as Jim Bronson every week and his Harley Davidson Sportster. The show was considered to be ahead of its time with its diverse subject matter. There were episodes that dealt with children with mental health disabilities or autism, racial issues, the Vietnam War, the occult, Native Americans, gambling and alcohol addictions, the environment and pollution, and the elderly, to name a few. There was only one death in the entire series, and there was really no violence to speak of. Bronson was a pacifist and would avoid a fistfight. As far as sex goes, Bronson had one discreet, intimate relationship. It has been said that if Then Came Bronson had more sex and violence, it might have continued on for another season. But in my opinion, that would not have been the Jim Bronson that Michael Parks had cultivated into a character that became a role model for a lot of young folks during that time. I find it amazing that with so many writers and directors that Michael Parks was able to do an excellent job of keeping in character. He was consistent with the character Jim Bronson and thereby made the character believable. Well, I hope you liked this episode and in future episodes I will discuss each of the 26 TV shows in some detail. And as Bronson used to say, hang in there. <laughs>